Hey, Benny Fish. It's the 4th of September, 2018. And, uh, wow, uh, a lot of stuff just came rushing in really quick this morning. And I'm going to try and share it with you. It, I don't get to the comments as, uh, you know, as much as I would like to. But I have to tell you all how much I appreciate you. I mean, I really do. Uh, you know, time, I'd love to interact with every single one of you. Really. But this particular uh, time here is really wild, okay? I I see right away I, I notice a couple of people putting the 10 because, you know, I hadn't received what the 10 could mean. And uh, I believe that that you all are right here when you're saying uh, that it could represent the Ten Kings. Um, the, the Obama signature, that's another very interesting um, point there because he does. He literally signs it with a line straight through the O. Okay, the Ten Kings again. And there was another one here. I just love you guys. This one here um, from 11-9-16, the election to 9-6 is 66 days and then they said remember when the Dow dropped 66 666 points and I was like yeah I do remember that as a matter of fact I went and I searched it okay I put Dow down 666 and the very first article was this Dow plunges 666 worst day blah 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 on 2-2 February 2nd 2018 and they give this image of these two bears, right? And right away, first thing in my mind was Second Kings 2, okay? The Elijah and Elijah, oh, you know what I mean. I have a hard time with a lot of this stuff, but this is, this is true. This is with Elijah and Elijah, you know, Elisha and Elijah. <laughs> Bear with me. But this is uh, when it came, it came to pass when the Lord would take Elijah into heaven. And so he's with Elijah, who he is handing over the mantle to, his spirit essentially. He ends up giving him a double portion. And so you go about this whole chapter and Elisha ends up um, healing the waters, which is a very interesting thing. Healing the waters, the people. Look at the definition for waters. And uh, and he, when he was leaving the city, okay, he was going up and the little kids came out and mocked him, a bunch of mockers. And he turned back on him and he cursed him in the name of the Lord. And there came forth two she-bears out of the wood and tear forty and two of them, okay? Two she-bears. And they put two bears up on this article. You know what I mean? A bear market is just a bear. But they put two very angry bears up here. And, and I also see the Wall Street sign. And, and you can see the, the W is kind of half hid. But either way, whether it's a W or an N, it still represents a 5 in numerology. Okay, And the A and the L, I have a chart here I'll show you. Right here. Okay. See how the N or the W both are a 5? The A is a 1 and the L is a 3. So 5, 3, and 1. They add up to a 9. 9, 11. And then we have the 21, which is the 21st letter of the Greek alphabet is Phi. What we just went over uh, on the last video. And the same way Obama signs his name. Okay? The phi, the 21st letter. And, and this is just amazing stuff. But the this article here, right? The 666 points on February 2nd, uh, 2018. This is, this is just the kind of stuff that happens. You guys know how it is. If we went back to that, right? We go back to February 8, uh, 2nd, 2018 to 9-11. Exactly 222 days. That's pretty interesting, if you ask me. We also have 17. We also have a 153. Okay? This is just how I see this stuff. 
And so that really caught my attention. But I, I wasn't fully, fully sure what it meant. I know in my spirit what's been shown to me for the 222 uh, represents the key of David. That's how it has been given to me. This is Isaiah 22, verse 22. And the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder. He shall open and none shall shut. And he shall shut and none shall open. Isaiah 22. 222 days from the time of this article to 9-11 with the two bears. And the 9-11 and the 21. So I'm just like, wow, what's going on here? Uh, and it keeps going. It, it seems like it just always does. There's your Barack Obama signature with the exact O, just like in the Phi. I mean, this is pretty crazy stuff. So, but I wanted to be sure, okay, when I saw the 222, usually when we see something like this, there's a pattern there there's almost always always a pattern if it's meaningful you know what i mean so what i wanted to do was count out 222 days because when i saw the 222 it came directly into my mind that that is one third of 666 one third of 666 in the uh dna method that i've been trying to to share with you, you know, my best understanding, the 23, the 46, and the 69. You could look at that as one-third, one-third, and one-third. And 222 is one-third of 666, which brings us, like, right to Scripture, uh, Revelation 12, right? And, and the, there was another wonder in heaven. We've already seen the uh, September 23rd, the great wonder in heaven, right? So since then, she is travailing in birth, labor, like we just went through Labor Day, right? And then appeared another wonder in heaven, a great red dragon, seven hens, and ten horns. There's the ten that you guys are all telling me about, which makes perfect sense to me. The ten kings. All right, the ten horns and seven crowns upon his head, and his tail drew the third part of the stars from heaven. Two, two, two is a third of six, six, six. Okay, so what I wanted to do was to see if that pattern progresses and count out another 222 days because that's how it usually works. And I did that, and it's crazy, guys, but you wouldn't believe where that brings us. Okay, from 9-11 to 420, and we'll include the day, is 222 days. 420 is quite literally, uh, let's see here, let's go to April the 20th, 2019. Check this out, and guess what this is? I mean, this is just crazy, guys. Passover. Exactly 222 days later is Passover. All right? So, this is crazy stuff. This, this coming Feast of Trumpets here, Rosh Hashanah, um, has, there's no question that there is a huge significance to this week that we're, we're in right now. There's just no way around it. And, and so many of the other things that, that I've come across are just unbelievable. Things I don't even show you because I'm like, where do I begin? Um, just in the date realm, you know, the, the different dates that we can look at. I mean, I showed you that to today, right? From the release of this article, okay, in 1988, January 9th, uh, to the 10th I went. Uh, we could go to the 11th, but I found it interesting that it's 11202, which is an 1122. You know, the 21, we have double there, uh, the same as the uh, phi, the 21st letter. This is crazy. Um, but if we include that day, we get 
11 to 0, 3. So we have the 23. You see what I'm saying? Uh, not many of these other ones really click with me. Uh, it's 30 years from the release of the article, 30, 69%. I really don't see much in the rest of these things. But the 11 and the 23 stand out to me. And, and it just continues. I mean, it truly does. That, that's the count out to the uh, Passover, the 222 days. This is interesting. Uh, from 9-11... You go back one month, five weeks, and three days. as you 153, and it brings you to July 4th, which is also the equivalent. 153 is the equivalent to 69 days. You see where I'm coming from? Which is also nine weeks and six days. I mean, that's crazy. And the July 4th thing is significant. I just know it is, particularly because of that Statue of Liberty uh, episode that happened. There was a lot of stuff going on there in the supernatural world, people. There, there's so much being told. It's impossible for us all to understand it. That's why we gotta, we gotta put it all on the table. This I found interesting. Uh, I, I completely had forgotten about this date right here back in 2017. But this was the day that Trump met with the Pope. Okay? When he went on that Mideast tour, he was in Jerusalem, he was in Jordan, Saudi Arabia, put his hands on the orb and all that stuff. But on the 24th, he was in the Vatican and he gave the Pope a lotus flower, okay, among other things. But that was exactly 444 days ago, which I, again, find incredibly interesting. Uh, one of the other ones that I found really interesting was the... Uh, from the great sign we were just looking at revelation um 12 right got a lot up here you guys but it's super interesting revelation 12 we had the great sign and if we go out all the way out to 9 11 with that we get 353 days it's also 11 months 19 days perfect 9 11 right and then the 353. I just see 53, 53, the forbidden chapter, the Jews. You Jews got to recognize your Messiah before, you know, he takes you by surprise. 53, 53, 53, 96 percent of a year. Uh, just crazy. To me, it's just crazy. The 9-11 is really nuts. And, and it just continues on. This is the, the kind of stuff that, that i just been seeing. You know what I mean? I showed you that. The 69 days. The 444 days from the Lotus. Uh, from 727, which was the blood moon over Israel, is 46 days. That's interesting. It also plays out the six week four days, which is 46 in reverse. 1104, there's a 411. But I know this is when uh, Trump um, said that Jerusalem was going to be where the embassy went. Exactly 280 days prior to 9 11, which is nine months and six days. Exactly 40 weeks. 76% of a year. I'm just telling you, this is, these are the kind of crazy things I see. But they're real. I can tell you that. We get the number of the beast here, 222 days before 9-11. And if we look into the number of the beast, it gets even more interesting. Because I was over there reading Revelation 13, right? And it goes through how the mark comes to be, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, receive the mark. The last verse here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it's the number of a man. And his number is 603 score and 6. Okay, and, and what I was drawn to look at is the number. Okay, let hear there's wisdom, let him count the number, for it is the number and his number. Three times. And it's G706. Now, this is absolutely fascinating, you guys. Okay, I don't know why or how this happened. Yes, I do. 
God bless you, Holy Spirit. This is just awesome stuff. But the word number, okay, it's from G142, a number, as reckoned up. And if we look at the G142, where it comes from, it literally means to lift, by implication, to take up or away, figuratively to raise, to sail away. And what I, what I was led to do was take that 142 and divide it by the number of a man. This is just what the stuff I'm led to do, you guys. So I just did it. I did 142, and I divide it by the number of a man. And I get 23.6666666666. Okay? Now, that means something. I'm telling you right now that means something. The 23, the separate, the set apart. You understand? For this to be 222 days exactly, one-third of 666. In Revelation 12, a third of the stars are swept up by his tail, which is interesting, I think. Right? And this all goes on. It's just so amazing, you guys. But I had to show that with you, and I had to tell you how much I just love you guys and that you take the time to to just leave comments and, and suggestions and encouragement and you know God is good man he is so good to us when we seek him diligently and daily he just blesses us beyond understanding and he's showing us he's showing us clear as day the time we're in and that we need to really pay attention and that's the bottom line Keep looking up. Keep praying. I mean, people, this is just important. This is just what my spirit tells me is stress the fact that we need to be praying always. By the 21st letter, exactly like Obama's signature. I find that very interesting indeed. You got to admit, that is pretty interesting. And I appreciate you guys' uh, comments big time. Because this is opening up a whole new thing. There's no way around this. There really isn't. There's, there's not any way around this. There, there is an absolute uh, something on the horizon here. No, no doubt about it. And to have that go 220 days out and land exactly on Passover of 2019, there's your 444. The same thing we got from, uh, what was it? Um, the lotus flower at the Vatican to 9-11, 444. Interesting stuff, you guys. Interesting indeed. But again, I just had to share it with you. It's early. About to go to work here. And uh, I hope you all have a really good day. Be blessed. Seek Jesus diligently. Peace and grace to you. Any fish? Finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 